Good day everyone, my name is Crisal Del Mundo, an Agriculture and Entrepreneurship student in Cavite State University and proposed a study on backyard raising of arbor acres, broiler chicken, galus galus, domesticus, at Pajo Alfonso Cavite, an entrepreneurial development project. This research will look at the production of broilers and how profitable they are. I choose backyard raising of arbor acres because I see a potential in this broiler production in our community because they raise pig instead of broilers. I also see a potential byproduct which is chicken manure used as fertilizer. In fact, the nearest farm in our community uses chicken manure as fertilizer. According to the Philippine Statistic Authority, demand for chicken has grown faster than more for other forms of meat due to its of access, lower fat contents, and absence of cultural and religious limitation. Furthermore, chicken is the most popular meat in fast food restaurants and rapidly developing business across the country. According to the Philippine Statistic Authority, the total chicken output from April to June 2022 is expected to be 463.12 thousand metric tons live weight. This is a 6.9% increase over the previous year's number of 433.11 thousand metric, metric tons of live weight. Broilers provide profit for their racers when treated appropriately. Broilers farming is the favorite with farmers in addition to being one of the most profitable animal industries in the country. Objectives uh, After accomplishing this project, students should be able to improve their availability and knowledge in broiler production, enhance the skills and knowledge through actual exposure and experience in broiler production. Second is identify the difficulties in broiler chicken production and viable solution. To determine the problems and the possible solution through actual exposure, I may encounter a lot of problems in broiler production, if may because of temperature, the environment or weather, and diseases. Now to look at this as hindrances, but to be optimistic that I may have possible solution to overcome the problem. The third one is the profit from this venture. Gain profit from the enterprise. Wala namang magtatayo ng business para maluti. Significance of the project. The recommendation will be based on the project's findings, which would be the advantage to the following. First one is the consumer, giving them a quality kinds of chicken meats. The second one is the poultry producer. It may help them through sharing of problems and solutions sharing some techniques in having a successful broiler production and the last one is the future researcher the future researcher will know that through do's and don'ts in making these kinds of research scope and limitation the research will be concentrated on the planning and method of broiler production this will be allow the students to be exposed to genuine operation increase her skills and knowledge identify the elements impacting backyard broilers outputs and most significantly generate a profit from the enterprise this study will focus on the planning and the procedure of broiler production time and place there are several factors to consider when constructing a poultry facility whether a small or large scale of broiler chicken production first one it must be located away from the residential areas dahil mabaho o laging nilalangap. The second one is, it must have an adequate market or road access. The third one is, it must have adequate drainage and be free of flooding. That's why I will conduct my EDP in Barangay Pajo, Alfonso, Cavite, since it meets all the criteria for choosing a chicken production site. And this study will take place from January to April 2023.